Oh, 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 oh. You roll that up, that leader's gone. I'm gonna keep you squared up. That ain't straight. That starts. Why you pull so hard? I was trying not. <laughs> Folks, oh Lord, the uh, the views of our host today are not necessarily the views of our show. <laughs> hey, folks. Uh, <laughs> What we're doing right now is I just wanted to kind of give you, because I get this question a lot, and it's about the Navionics Relief Shading. There's, Eli went from Grunt King to Porgy King, but anyway, um, we tripled up. So what we've got here, as you can see that there's blank lines going through here, this is actually, um, the reason why this is not showing up simply is because Noah hasn't gone through and done the mapping of this this whole area like this so if you kind of take a look and you go over to here you can see that they are this whole area in here is mapped so you can see a lot of the lines and stuff like that rocks here so if you get the Navionics relief shading platinum plus just remember that just because you see these it's not your machine it's actually the chip itself they haven't they haven't done all of the the relief mapping out here so just so just to answer that question um, but right now as you can see here we are sitting on a spot on a on a ledge and what's funny is today we we actually have been noticing that the uh, that the, the fish have been off the ledge and sitting right on the bottom. At least that's what we're seeing on the machine. I'll show you here. Um, we'll go to the... But you can see that the fish are sitting right on the bottom right there. So um, I'm not sure if it's a thermal climb or what's going on, but they're, they're really sticking to the bottom today. We've caught a ton of different fish though. We've caught everything from gag grouper, red grouper, porgies, hogfish. Uh, what else? Yeah. Strawberry grouper. Scamp, strawberry grouper. Yellowtail. Yellowtail. Not big yellowtail, but yellowtail. And the, the bite has been really good. Even though we have clear bluebird skies, we have a high pressure on top of us, but the weather is starting to warm up. I'm not, lay, not wearing as many layers as I was before. So, uh, it is getting warmer today is wednesday so thursday is supposed to be warmer friday is supposed to be in the 80s so i think these fish are really going to put on the feed bag uh, but they've been biting pretty good today gags have been a little elusive eli caught a really nice one i think we've got another one in there two two or three i think i don't know i only seen one but uh, a lot of hogs. may i don't know but we were on them real early this morning and then they kind of shut off and we've been searching for them since then. Oh, did you get one, Tony? No, they were, both mine were short, but they were real close. Uh, they were like they were short. <laughs> I don't know who should be tell, calling who short. I mean... It's not what's on the I outside think, that counts. I think even Eli's taller than you. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Come on, Eli. You're not supposed to be catching those. You know it's involved with those. Me. Yep. So any folks, anyway folks, <laughs> that is uh, that is the relief shading uh, with those stripes in there. So it's not your machine. Just remember that. So I'm going to try to get back to fishing. Come on, Chad. That was on. Oh, that was. <laughs> oh, really? It's probably a red grouper then. Yeah. 
Man, when you stuck him, I thought it was a big old hogfish. No. No. It's a, a scam. Nice scam. There you go. That's a keeper. Look, I brought you good luck, Chad. Right? <laughs> Scamps on the white bait. So, so what was your special? What was your special combination? Three dead white baits. And those white baits look so dead, I'm not sure they were alive this century. Yep. Ooh, look at all that fish. I think the gags are buried. Eli! Todd! What are you doing up here? Fishing. It Eli, like. you, I, I can't give you grief today, and there's one reason why. You know what that reason is, right? Cut the biggest guy. Yep. <laughs> Respect. Now, I can give a lot of grief to him because he'll, well, oh I take, I, I'm sorry, I take that back <laughs> because I haven't put a fish in the box yet. I've lost a bunch of good gags. <laughs> I've been jinxed. But, already. yeah, we, he thinks his wife put the voodoo doll on him. <laughs> Samantha, bad, 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 Samantha. I'm going to get a fish. I'll be all right. Okay. Be all right. Chad, what is that? I need the bag of smuts. I swear to God, I cleaned this boat thoroughly last night. Look underneath. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, that was some catch stuff. Look at that. <laughs> Can we repeat it? No. Yep. Ooh. They like the I, got a, I got a cramp. You ain't even caught enough. Is it from three days of fishing? <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> you get an assist on that? Another scam. No, that's no, a gag. gag. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> I don't need your help pulling that one up, Slackline. <laughs> get him, Eli. Hey, that was 50, yeah. I'd like to give Eli crap. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. All right, Chad, tell us how good you are at fishing. Hey, right there. I caught the loop knot. On somebody's hook. On somebody's hook. Look at that. That don't happen every day. I mean, I know you've caught fish all kinds of ways. In the them. butt, in that the tail, in the though. everything. That, but that is, is a first. <laughs> and I bet you that person thought, oh my God, I got a monster Ooh, on. And this one's trying to bite me. He may live with that hook forever, because. You want my pliers? Yeah. He was hooked well. My pliers were sword. Oh, you want me to do it? I'm 
trying to film. Well, it's it's pretty dense. It may be in there for a reason, but we saved you, little fella. Tony in the background is trying to take take away from you. It's a monster. <laughs> this side of the boat ain't catching snot. I don't know what's up on this side, bro. <laughs> I don't know either. It's weird. Somebody peeing on this side of the boat. That's the hardest hit hog I have ever had. Wow. Really? And it's not even all that big. No. He thumped it. She, he, it. <laughs> Use the proper pro pronoun, Chad. You can be called whatever you want to be called. That was on the tail of the shrimp. That's a unicorn filefish. That was on the tail of the shrimp. All right, folks. So we just made a about a I don't know 25 minute run idling. And, uh, we get we get to this spot that was guaranteed to have fish. I don't know if you noticed. Know uh, you can see it. Just, just putting it on the record. You got the only gag, the only keeper gag today. That feels good. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, you caught a bunch of grunts <laughs> and porgies. Caught a lot of porgies. And hogs. And hogs. Well, how many hogs did you get? Three. In the in the boat in the here? Two in there. Two in there? Mm -hmm. Okay. I yeah. went for quality, not quantity. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then we had that numb school with us. And then wow. this guy One here, time. He, he had a curse on him from his <laughs> wife. I'm going to talk, talk to her about it. <laughs> You're going to talk what? I'm going to talk to her about that. I'm gonna go, she's going to say no. Oh, uh, Lord. It was a long trip in for us. It was funny because we just had our boat serviced. And in one tank, I, I leave maybe 20 gallons, 30 gallons in for reserve. Because I just run off one tank. So I've got two tanks. So... I went and brought it in for service, not knowing that they opened the valve to the second tank, to the starboard tank. So we're running in and all of a sudden the boat comes off plane and the starboard motor shuts down. I'm like, what in the world? So we start working the bulb and we thought, oh man, it's the bulb, it's the bulb. We're just going to have to sit back there and pump it and pump it and pump it. Well, we get into the bay and the pumping's not working anymore and I'm like, the bulb is bad or something and we're not getting fuel. Something is happening with this. The lever was turned on and not in the off position. So we were able to turn that off, finally get the, the starboard motor primed and got up on plane and got home safely. So again, when I talk about situations like this, the reason why I bring them up is simply because if this happens to you out on the water, if it could be a bulb, it's happened to us where we've had to sit there and prime the bulb all the way in. Always have a spare of something. Always make sure that you have that spare that can get you back home safely. Um, if most of you don't know, some of you might know, but there is a free service up to a certain mileage out, and I'll post the mileage down here of how far Eckerd College will come and get you. Um, it's a free service. They do it. They'll deliver gas at it for a, a price, but they'll come and tow you for free anywhere inside the bay in a certain mileage offshore. 
So if you don't have sea boat or sea tow or boat US, that might be someone that you can call to come and get you. I've done it before in the past with our old, old boat. So Eckerd College, they have a search and rescue team that is very good. They're all on donations. So if you can, if you use their service, donate to them. We've done it in the past, like I said. So that is an option for you. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We had a lot of laughs cracking on each other pretty good. Um, it was windy in the morning, but it flattened right out in the afternoon, so that was nice. But again, thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. Chad, you got anything to add? Um, Pre-order your gold diggers. Oh, they ain't going to last long. Because uh, I'm going to buy them all. <laughs> yeah, he's going to buy them all. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, we just got two big orders from two of our distributors, so we might have to put it off a little bit longer, but we'll see what happens. Hey, by the way, uh, we do have a boat show coming up in late this month. I think it's the 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, somewhere around there, the St. Pete Boat Show. I'll be there. I don't know if Numbskull will be there with me, um, but I hope the weather is <laughs> better than it was last year because it sucked last year. Oh, yeah, it was cold. But anyway, again, thank you for watching. Fish more, catch more, and we'll see you on the flip side.